Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm Nav and I'm going to show you a quick mod here. This is the Epic Islands uh, map mod. It is one kind of big string of islands that circle the center area. The center area seems to be kind of the cold area. And it's got the dinosaurs really well spread out. I've actually been kind of impressed with it. This, uh, as you can tell, I've been playing with some other mods here. Make sure to check out my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe and like. It helps us out. So here we go. I'm going to take off here. This island right here off to our left it has mostly dodecases on it. A lot of obsidian and rock. And then as we come around this way, this island kind of jumps into some uh, different herbivores. And then you start to get into such things as Sabertooth and Argentavis and stuff up here in the mountains. You can kind of see them over there flying around. And there's definitely some Sabertooths. The only thing I've not seen on this island so far is a T-Rex, but I'm sure they're out there and we'll find you at the most inconvenient time, like in the middle of a tame. But it has some really cool build areas. Lots of water and some really nice designs too. They seem to do really well with the water spend some time on it even. He also plans from what I understand of adding to it. It's still kind of in early phases I think. But it is a really cool design. Out of all the maps that I've played this is probably the one I'm most impressed with and the one I've had the least lag on. Um, see there's some more water with some islands and stuff you can build. There's some Branos back there, some of the new stuff through here. It's kind of a deserty area, but still with some, I guess, trees mixed in. It's really kind of a, he seemed to have spent a lot of time on a really nice design. I'm going to circle around. That island kind of goes back in there, and there's some more trees and mountains. Um, we're going to cut across here. Then if you fly over there into the middle of that, I think it is. There should be a little area you can kind of dive down into. Oh wow, I've never seen one of those on the surface. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I don't know what this is other than just a giant rock. Doesn't look like anything spawns on it. So we're in this area. Some more really cool places to build. I sure wouldn't mind having this on a server. Obviously the only issue you have with modding servers with stuff like that is if something goes wrong with the mod it can cost you everything if you put time into. So keep that in mind. That's the same with any mod. But if you enjoy the build and enjoy the new things to see then it's a great mod. Had just a little bit of lag there. It's the first I've had since I've been on here. There's some more creatures over here. Um, see some turtles and other such stuff down there. It's kind of a swamp area. So each little island seems to be its own habitat almost. There's definitely not a shortage for uh, megalodons at all. And I guess that's for good or bad. If you're trying to swim in between islands as a low level, you'd have a lot of fun. Is it's where rafts come in. So we'll keep going back around here. We got just a few more little islands here to see. This one kind of looks like about the rest of them. Just kind of a general wooded area. And we'll cut back across here. And that's where we started. So now let's go check out the center island real quick. Seems like a good spot to stop. It's still pretty good size. I mean, even though it seems to only take up a little portion of the map, it's just the way it's designed. I don't know how far out the walls are in the water. I have to wander out there and find out. It seemed to go out a decent ways whenever I was playing around out there. Center Island does seem to be the cold climate. You see some new stuff, mammoths. 
This kind of circles the mountain here, so I'm thinking maybe there's something cool on top. You can get up there too, so we'll go up there and check it out. Okay. No other than an Argentavis. And what looks like an obelisk. So I guess you could summon in dinos and such here. I thought we'd take a little different route back and then say goodbye. So this is the Stargate. I kind of find these entertaining. They're kind of cool. So what you do is I built one down there. So we're going to dial the appropriate number for it. Well, that didn't work. Let's try that one more time. <laughs> Sorry, folks. I think I see what it is. Seven, four, three, nine, two, one, and connect. There we go. It's got pretty cool graphics to it, too. It is a one-way portal, and we're back at our starting point, which I left the bird up there on top. Oh, well. <laughs> He'll be fine. Anyway, everybody, thank you for stopping by, and hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good day.